and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a gradient. Let us create two shapes, a circle and a rectangle. Let me give the rectangle a different color. I'll select the circle. We need the fill and stroke menu on the object. Let me give it a stroke paint. I go back to fill and now we can add a linear gradient right here. By default, it's the selected fill color transitioning to transparent. We can also add a radial gradient right here and it's the same sort of fill color transitioning to transparent. If we want to edit it, we need the gradient to right here. Short key for that is G. We can start all over again with the linear gradient, just drag it and it's directly applied to the circle as a fill. Same goes for the radial. So just left click, drag it, and then you can reposition it and readjust the two colors. You cannot only add it to the fill, but also to the stroke. So select the stroke. We still have the radial. So let me get to linear first, and now I drag it and it's only applied to the strokes, so the black color. If you want to return to the default, just go to your fill and stroke menu once again. We are under fill, and if you add a fill, we can go back, for example, to red color. You add a radial gradient, and it's the default once more. If you want to inverse that, just pick the default like this then click on one of the node points or one of these little white circles and then press shift r not control r control r is for the rulers press shift r and it will inverse it you can see that also in the menu so the fill is now on the left now it's the transparency that's on the left Same goes for the stroke paint. So I'll select one of these white circles in the gradient, then I'll press Shift R. And again, let's get back. So on the stroke paint, I go to the flat color for black. Let me select the rectangle, I'll add a linear gradient. I select the gradient tool. I select the left point and now I change the color. You can do that with the right color as well. And now it's not from one color to transparency anymore. Instead, it's from one color to the next. So this is how you can change that. By default, it's always the fill color to transparency. And if you want to have two colors, just select the individual points with the gradient tool and then adjust it, for example, with the color wheel under fill and stroke. And this is how you can add gradients to objects in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.